Governor Tate Reeves is promising the state will do whatever it can to support tornado survivors in Lewin after Sunday's deadly storm. Reeves was on the ground today meeting with people who lost everything and thanking volunteers lending a hand to help. Shaking hands and giving hugs in the tornado ravaged community of Lewin, Governor Tate Reeves heard concerns from people who live there worried about the future. We want to rebuild. Oh, absolutely. We want to rebuild it too. Okay. Um, we absolutely, and we are here and we are committed to the long haul. Three days after the EF3 tornado, debris piles that were once people's homes are scattered throughout Jasper County. The state's leader says he's working to secure whatever resources he can for those who need it most. We are working to uh, try to get uh, an emergency declaration uh, by the feds. Um, we've got some damage assessments that we've got to complete. Um, there are thresholds we got to meet to do that. But regardless of, of the outcome of that particular process, we're going to be here to help the people. In the crowd of people today, family members of George Jean Hayes, the Lewin Church music minister, was the only person to die in the tornado, leaving family members with mixed emotions. And even though, you know, we did lose my aunt, you know, we are still thankful and blessed and my family is standing strong and we just are keeping our faith and we're just taking it one day at a time. Today, Reeves responded to an AP report that he was in Alabama the day after the tornado for a fundraiser. I had a, a long standing meeting. Uh, I was out of state for less than three hours uh, late on Monday afternoon, um, but I kept stayed in contact with uh, our emergency management directors. Uh, our emergency management team. I was on the phone um, uh, within hours of the storm hitting with Senator Barnett and other local leaders. Some Lewin residents who heard from the governor are thankful he stopped by to show support and tonight they're looking for better days ahead. I feel hopeful. Hopefully they do something. I'm just waiting to see what the outcome will be and hopefully they do it fast. And while a lot of folks are hopeful for quick results, leaders say cleanup is going to take a while. Several community groups are there in Lewin helping out by handing out cold drinks and food throughout the day. A cooling station is also open at City Hall for folks to cool down during the day. And don't forget, you can help by donating to the Mississippi Strong Tornado Relief Effort by texting MS Tornadoes to 51555 or by visiting gray.tv slash relief. You can also find a list of other ways to donate on our website, WDAM.com.